Oh. All right. Uh, the inside is good, yeah. So my bike finally arrived. Thank you. My bike finally arrived. Stay tuned for the unboxing. Okay, so this is the box. It just came in from FedEx. Um, took about five days, including a weekend, to get from Las Vegas to uh, Texas, Dallas. And then um, two days to get from FedEx Dallas to FedEx Ever Beach, Hawaii. So um, the shipping was about um, $187 from Texas. But from Ride One Up. It would have been two seventy five, two seventy five. So, so basically, I saved about a hundred bucks by shipping it to Texas first. Okay, unboxing. Okay, here's the unboxing. Of the Roadster V2 by Ride One Up. Let me get something for the staples. Okay, so I got the staples off, opened it up. Looks like looks like a bike in here. So let's carefully get it out. Looks uh padded up well so that's good um, let me try to get it out Okay, got some scissors. Okay, so I sped up the time here uh, six times speed because I'm just cutting the zip ties and the connective supplies to uh, separate everything to show what the bike looks like. 
and also checking for any scratches or damages at the same time. Okay, so in the white box, got some Bride One Up swag, which is cool because I'm going to Dallas soon. I got uh, some Ride One Up official Allen wrenches to put the bike together. So that's good in case you don't have tools there's a free tool that a buzz was a tool. bee flying on my phone um, something super cool a ride one up beanie so that's cool and uh, on the back it has a, a blacked out logo which is nice too and it's a uh, it's like charcoal gray and it and, uh, feels like that soft cotton which is good on your head and then uh, got some cool postcards right here postcard another card welcome to the ride one up family so that's cool um, and then some small like business cards right here and right here so that's uh, premium electric transportation contact info so that's cool um, and then in that brown box got some wrenches a 8 a 10 millimeter um, a 5 and a 3 And then uh, the Welgo uh, pedals, flat pedals. Looks like there's uh, some knobbies on there, so nice. And then uh, the charger for the battery because. Hopefully by now on you know this is an e-bike unboxing. <laughs> if you didn't, yeah, there it is. There's a charger for e-bikes. So I'm gonna put the bike on my homemade bike stand. Stay tuned. So here it is. I ordered a size small because I'm about five foot eight and typically I ride a 52 centimeter road bike. So I ordered the small also because um, I have a suspension seat post which the suspension part is about this this high and uh, I want it to be a little higher because a higher effective seat post it has more cushion sorry about that burp I was drinking people. some coca-cola um, so that's what I plan to do. That's why I got a size small, even though I can fit a size large, according to the 
one up ride one up dot com website so the pedals um, that came with the bike are a li little bit heavy so I'm gonna put on some Amazon pedals flat pedals that I got last week um, and they're also black but they have re removable pins which is nice and they're more grippy on shoes and they're fairly light so I'm gonna take my pedals off my stationary stationary bike and compare the two stay tuned here's uh, the tire spinning So far so good so these pedals compared to these Welgo pedals I'm gonna put the Fuker pedals on because they're a little bit more grippy and I'll put the Welgo pedals on my trainer bike here it goes put some grease on the threads first and uh, put some grease on the threads on the bike. Fuker are knockoff tester race face pedals. Wherever there is metal to metal contact, it's good to put grease. Toothbrush. These crank arms are 170 millimeters long. So an easy way to remember how to put on the pedals is you always spin spin the tool towards the front wheel. Go lightly by hand first. Make sure it's spinning in perfectly. Once it's in pretty tight, you can use the provided wrench to make it snug. You don't have to go with a death grip because as you pedal, um, it's only in the tight motion toward the front wheel. I greased up the seat tube I just have to uh, tighten up the stem bolts um, pedals are good Uh, saddle height. Yeah, like your new bike. With the tape measure. 
Yeah. It's good. Good, Daddy. Good. Tightening up the stem bolts to five newton meters using a torque wrench. So just under 5 newton meters is uh, 40 inch pounds, which is good enough. And the saddle, I adjusted the height using the tape measure. Because uh, all my bikes have the same same height, which is uh, twenty seven and a half inches from the top of the saddle to the middle of the bottom bracket. So just. Go to the top of the saddle and measure to the middle of the bottom bracket, which is easy to see because there's a screw, and you're done. Tighten this by hand and grease the inside. Every six months, the seat post is a size 30.4. So, if you're going to use your road bike carbon fiber 27.2, I believe, you have to buy the shim and then you can use your carbon fiber road seat post. That's about it. Now, just to pump up the tires, which is a Schrader valve. Um, most of my road bikes are Presta valves. Um, so, when I have a flat, I'll just switch out the inner tube with the Presta valve and use the the valve shim so the valve does not shake that's about it and then charge the battery and tomorrow is the first test ride so there were some damages to the saddle in shipping um right here that's about it i didn't notice any other damages on the paint the grommet is new the metal head badge the is new metal the front head badge the is metal. Longer metal. Uh, brake caliper with brakes that go all the way down to the rim surface is new. Rim braking um, surface. What else? That's about it. And I just had to plug in or connect 
the electrical cord to the computer which was uh it has several sockets but when you press them together you just line up there are two arrow these tick two marks on the arrows. black plastic yeah you have to line and up i have my brakes slightly down and forward which is good because i don't want it totally down or totally uh, horizontal <laughs> So this seat post is 27.2 and uh, to the 5 inch mark is about to the one and a half tick mark which passes the spring mechanism. So, I can use this seat post on that frame once I get the shim. That's the plan. That's why I got a small frame. Also, another cool thing is... If you have, uh, if you're healing from a broken arm like I am, it would, be, it would be good to get this shock absorbing stem. This is the shortest a stem 110 Redshift Sports makes millimeter. Is 80 millimeters. It'd be good to get a short one that fits the e bike stem which is 60 millimeters if uh, you need some shock absorption for your arms but you have to get the shim to fit the bar because that bar I believe is only something like 25 millimeters this one is a uh, 30 something the road parameter I kind of forgot what it is 31.8 yeah millimeters okay because uh, tires say 50 to 85 psi I'm gonna pump it up to about 60 psi <laughs>
So, who puts super cool swag and the beanie is super comfortable. So, thanks 1UP, ride1up.com for the Roaster V2. And I'm gonna charge it and ride it for the first time tomorrow. Like, comment, and subscribe. Okay, so my battery just died and I just recharged it. Like, comment, and subscribe, please, down below. It goes away a long way for the YouTube algorithm. Alright, have a good ride. Peace out.